And again to his Premiership. For Steve McManaman, a timely moment for what would be his 50th goal in Liverpool's colours. For David Beckham, the player's choice as Young Player of the Year, a suitable place for a decisive celebration. All side issues and the most intense rivalry in the Premiership, which today threatens to reach new heights. The team news sees Liverpool continue with Steve McManaman as the main support for Robbie Fowler, with Michael Thomas in midfield and Jason McAteer reclaiming his place from Rob Jones. Peter Schweiker returns as the main Manchester United headline, though Giggs, May and Owen, the last of those three who is a substitute, are not yet ready to start. As expected, David Beckham is back after his rest on the bench last week and in tactical terms the retention of Scholes in midfield with Solskjaer dropping out of the front line would not surprise followers of the thinking of Alec Ferguson. Cup final referee Steve Lodge is the fourth official today. The referee in the centre there is Graham Paul. It's an unlikely hour, 11.15 in the morning. But here we go, Manchester United in their change strip, which is mainly white. Liverpool playing right to left, defending the cop end. It's quite a chilly morning, hardly a breath of wind. And it'll be interesting to see which team gets into its stride the quicker. Certain adjustment of pre-match routines required by the uh, early start. It's Gary Pallister. Philip Neville. Johnson. Michael Thomas got a feed of the ball for Liverpool briefly. Now Mark Wright. If you're hoping for better headers than that one. Thomas quicker than Scholes, a better place to be fair. Beckham, Cole, Cantona! It wasn't that far away as his expression shows. Didn't have much room and had to get both feet off the ground because he was challenged by McAteer who just presented a back to him. Interesting use of the ball pass off Cantona. Cantona could release Cole. Just a brief glimpse of an opportunity. No more. Good play though. Not between the two, and James timing it in the end comfortably. Well, that's given away. Gary Neville had already got forward. Here's a chance for McManaman, which he doesn't take. Didn't hesitate on it in any way. But it was a real opportunity as Manchester United gave the ball away on their right. Neville was 20 yards ahead, a mistake by Pallister, seemed to rather stub his foot as he played the ball anyway, and that was a good chance. Um, Steve McManaman did not take the opportunity, number 50, skewed off his foot. Right, cushion for Harkness, didn't uh, do quite what he wanted to do with it, this is Cole. Came off right, says the referee. Right doesn't agree. Maybe the first test for David James. Although he might be at his one claim on the ground. Justifies that description. Oh, 
Old Posse comes forward. Oh, and it's Pallister who gives United the lead. Really bullet head up. Roy Evans will wonder how he had so much room and so would David James. Didn't have a chance then, the goalkeeper having decided to stay at home rightly, the ball was going away, but the challenge by Wright on Pallister was not good enough. He arrived too late. And Manchester United have a precious start. Goal in the 12th minute for Alec Ferguson's team and bringing the expected reaction. Could be a problem, Cole! Oh dear. And the cop reacts. Quarimer and James can talk about it as they pass each other, knowing that they've escaped. Cole just got his foot to it first time, but not second. And as a result, a moment of hope became one of embarrassment. Couldn't believe it. McManaman, McAteer right, Fowler left. Redknapp making it a foursome, two others coming up on the left, and they get a corner. Taken quickly. Barnes! Oh, and it's 1 1. Corner taken quickly. Manchester United not best organised, and John Barnes equalises. Got a hand to it, Schmeichel, but as he did so, the ball, I suspect, had already crossed the line before he touched it. He had to backtrack quite a lot, having started to organise things, and the taking of the corner quickly was costly. There was no marking on Barnes. Two headers, one from Pallister, one from Barnes, and the challenge at the top is all square at 1-1. Long for Bionami. Cantona, it's a beautiful turn around, Harkness. Good cover by Colimo, but there's a second chance here for Cole. Still, Cantona. Bouncing ball and a Frenchman off balance. Will Brian Hall please ring the urgent? Brian Hall to ring the tunnel room, please. Thomas trying to get there, couldn't. Not a memorable finish. Monsieur Cantona. Barnes. McManaman, Fowler! To tell the truth, a poor strike on his right foot. Even so, a good move, Barnes, McManaman, Fowler clear, not the best of angles, but he didn't hit it well either. behind him again Cole finding some space and James has come out an awful long way with Quarima covers behind him I can't believe the amount of space that Andy Cole is finding here's Cantona from Butts taken away by Harkness second corner for Manchester United, they scored from the first, which was from the other side. Pallister is up there again. This time it's Johnson. That's a good parry away by David James. Got up well. Good header. Excellent. 
reaction save by the Liverpool goalkeeper. Beckham again. And James doesn't get there this time. And Pallister does for the second time. And Manchester United lead 2-1. Vicious swinging corner in on the near post and Pallister gets his head to it ahead of defender and goalkeeper. The defender again, Mark Wright. And United have reclaimed the lead after lots of Liverpool possession which they were expected to have and United were quite comfortable to deal with. Alec Ferguson's team are back in front. Two minutes short of the half-time interval. a touch off his other ankle which he didn't need Cantona but coming square change of angle to Cole everything is now to Cole's left he thought he was blocked by right but he actually stopped a bit too quickly that's a mistake here's Cole that's another good stop Cole still complaining about the original challenge Two goals by Gary Pallister, taking his season's total to three. Goals all from corners. Pallister's the first. The equaliser then from John Barnes. And Pallister getting to the near post this time. Makes it 2-1 to Manchester United at half-time. Liverpool have had six draws and two defeats by uh, Sheffield Wednesday and Coventry on their own ground 18 points dropped at Anfield might be a telling statistic at the end of the season might be attitude today Michael Thomas John Barnes Redknapp Liverpool now attacking the cop in which has usually been worth an extra puff of wind at least to them Beckham Cantona goes for the back heel but simply gives it to Bionami that's well done by Keane Cole up in the middle now square or squarish Canton our way over on the far side is the most forward player. McManaman. Comes into the crowd. And uh, Peter Schmeichel not too bothered. Shot away. No longer Roy Evans wait before providing greater support. Up front to his leading scorer. Robbie Fowler, if he gets the expected suspension, will not uh, play another Premiership match. And here, almost on cue, is Stan Collymore getting ready. Offside. And a substitution to be made. And it's going to be Jason McAteer. Who comes off. He seems a little reluctant to do so. Well, off comes McAteer. I think his expression sums up his feelings on the matter. And on comes Stan Collymore. Tactical change. We've 
had an hour of the match and his importance could not be exaggerated to both sides and it's worth noting we've yet to have a booking here's Collymore again a disappointing strike from a Liverpool player in possession on the edge of the box Cantona. Liverpool throw. It's Cole. And James didn't make it. Cole does. Manchester United lead 3 to 1. But you can only feel sorry for David James. The way he came for that showed a total lack of confidence which has been suggested several times in this match and in previous matches it's coming across he's pouring at the air and Andy Curl keeps up a recent good record of scoring and probably puts this match beyond doubt and may well have ended Roy Evans hopes of getting past Alec Ferguson Goal in the 63rd minute. So much possession, Liverpool. So little threat. It's a short, well seen by right. Well one back by right. Berger, Fowler, and he gave Michael the chance, but all credit to Michael, as ever he was quick. Brilliantly claimed. Good movement, but not the best of first touches, and it needed to be. We're in to stop his time. Thomas. Pallister, he and Jonsson. Could be the pick of an organised Manchester United performance. And here's Cole, the chance of making it four. Oh dear. Cole probably wishes it had been blown a few seconds earlier but Manchester United had the victory it may be unpalatable for Liverpool supporters but the harsh reality is that Manchester United didn't have to play like champions to beat them David James another disappointing match for him at fault with Andy Goals goal in the 63rd minute and after that there was really no threat and Manchester United are absolute red-hot favourites to retain their title. And Liverpool have got a battle on their hands to finish in second place. The Anfield Reds, very, very disappointing on the day. The Manchester Reds, the clear victors. Two goals by Pallister, one by Cole. And the final outcome with John Barnes scoring for Liverpool. Liverpool one, Manchester United three. I take it you never have scored a hat-trick? Um, not since school football, anyway. Um, I never scored two in a professional game, so uh, to do it today in a big game like that was uh, was a bonus. A couple of bullets, weren't they? Yeah, I was pleased with them. We um, we worked on them a little bit in, in training this, this week, which we, we don't usually do, to be quite honest. And um, we talked about um, the set pieces, and uh, you know, fortunately, for about one of the first times ever, I think it's come off for us. All goalkeepers have bad spells. But what do you do with David James at the moment in, in order to lift his confidence, which clearly 
it, it's not very great, shall we put it that way? Yeah, well, I mean, all players have, have bad spells. Yeah, but goal. it shows always with goalkeepers, what I mean. Unfortunately, ends up, uh, ends up with a goal against his side. I thought he played uh, excellently against Everton. I thought he, he came out early and, and missed one. But after that, he got bigger and bigger. Um, Sunderland had been steady, to be fair. Sunderland, uh, and today, you, know, you thought, well, maybe he's, he's back to it. But obviously, uh, there's a mistake for the, for the last goal, certainly. Well, if tough games come up, and, 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 and I don't think you get easier games, to be honest with you. You've got teams like, uh, well, West Ham have just won the Cup, and they'll be, when we go to their ground, they'll be celebrating the, the return of the Cup. It'll be the first time that their the home support will be able to see the Cup, so it's a big day for them. And uh, West coming and it makes a, an extra special day for them. So that's going to be tough. And then the three games at home with two sides fighting relegation, Mirrors and West Ham, then you can't, you can't expect anything other than a hard game. And of course, Newcastle are chasing the UEFA players, so they were not by the post. Uh, but we're getting towards it. Well, it was a great result for United, Trevor, but who could have imagined the goals would have gone in like that? Pallister with two goals, he's got one all season. Barnes scores a header. You can't believe that the goals would go in that way in that sort of match. Not with those two defences. Normally, they're very solid. And, and I mean, I think uh, all four would be soft goals, we'd term them as such. Uh, you know, just bad marking generally. I, I think also Liverpool defended poorly throughout the game. Uh, and, and probably I think you, you've got to give a certain amount of credit to Manchester United who spent uh, quite a lot of time I think this week on the training ground mm -hmm. uh, because they felt Liverpool had been vulnerable in recent games on cross. I mean here against Coventry these are the two goals they conceded then and, and you know, I'm sure that was very uppermost in their mind let's try and pressurise them in this situation if we get the chance and, and these are three corners in the first half. This is the goal. You can't see any Manchester United player at that stage. And, and really, when Gary Pallister gets in front of Mark Wright, it's clear the near post, and it's in the middle of the six-yard box. Great header, but poor marking. Nobody attacking the ball. Look, they're getting a little cluster there, the, the quartet of Manchester United players. They're zonal again, Liverpool, very stationary. And this is Ronnie Johnson, who's going to get another free header. Jamie Redknapp is challenging him, and, and, and that makes a good save there, James. But straight afterwards, you get the second goal. Look, another quartet. And this time it's the near post one. Again, nobody attacking the ball and, and it clears that front man and, and really uh, you know, it's, it's poor defending mm. and, and just capitalised on, I think, uncertainty at the moment. But all throughout the Liverpool side, you know, there were gaps, e even in general open play, not just set pieces that you don't normally find with Liverpool. It puts Liverpool out of the title race, Alan, doesn't it? Definitely. I think the most disappointing thing for Liverpool today was that Manchester United came to Anfield in the most important game of the season. They didn't play particularly well and cruised to victory. We've always said that in a team of 11, you can afford one or two playing badly. Liverpool today have got six, seven, eight playing badly. Just isn't good enough. But still during a, even a game like that, they look as though they're passing the ball quite well, Liverpool. I mean, they stroke it about, they keep, about, they keep possession quite a bit, but it doesn't look effective. They are a good passing side, but there's no great variation in tactics. When they break, they don't break quickly enough. They don't get forward quickly enough. And what happens is they let men get behind the ball. It's pass, pass, pass here. It's good possession, but what it's done, it's let Manchester United get men behind the ball. They're, they're sort of passing it to death here. The Manchester United are just sitting back, they're soaking it up, and basically they're letting Liverpool have it. And what was a promising break has resulted in Liverpool getting it, but it's very tight here. A lot of men behind the ball and difficult to get it through. I played in a lot of good Liverpool sides that were probably just as good as this team passing-wise, but mm. every one of them got the ball forward quicker. Yeah, it's more, that's, that's more incisive. Well, you yeah. can play it short, you can play it long, but the, the purpose of the thing is variation in tactics. Mm -hmm. Play it short at times, let them get them sucked into it, and then hit it long. Yeah. Look for the ball over the top at times. Now, David James was brilliant earlier on in the season, but he, I mean, he has lost some sort of confidence uh, and has cost he them goals. Of definitely, he's having a torrid time, I yeah. think. And indecision is final, and it's very difficult for him. But the defenders in front of him aren't playing well. This is the goal. We've circled Thomas here. I think he's in a bad position. He gets sucked under the ball. Passer comes in in front of right. That's in the back of the net. Whereas for Manchester United, you watch the position of Schmeichel here. He's all over the place. But his defenders in front of him have done well, and they've protected him. And that is the difference. But yeah. James is having a bad time, really is. Would you give him a rest, though? Or do you think you just have to persevere? Who else uh, have they got there? They've got Tony Warner that they can bring, and I think you've got to leave him. I honestly think that his indecision is transmitting through to the other players, and he's putting everybody under pressure. Mm. I think you've got to leave him. Yeah. And it's a great test of character for Liverpool now. They're out of the championship race, but they've still got the Champions League place they play for, and they've got to pick themselves up. And that means the 11 players, the coaches, the manager, and the supporters. Okay. Well, that result...